obviously it got a lot of criticism and stories and we see all that and it's not you don't want to read that but it is what it is and again um, we deserved a lot of that so it's just working working the issues like hey what do the consumers want what do we want how do we get there this is a very long uh, tale for us in this game over the course of your career have you been a guy that's read reviews oh yeah yeah I read them all so you got to read the good and the bad ones absolutely right? case, I yeah. read all the comments um, and you look you've experienced it all right we've had the games that hit the high 90s and win all the games of the years and we have the ones that that don't as well and that that kind of comes with the territory I think it, it's part of the job to to read all of that and whereas I don't always like the grammar or adjectives they use. <laughs> I think the intent is always, even like a very mean-spirited comment from a fan, I think the intent behind that is actually well-meaning. Yeah, there can like, be a they kernel of... They love these games, Yeah. Um, and they're super important to them, and they're important to us. So I think you have to dig into that and say, okay, where could we have done better? Microtransactions. DRM. The order DLC. This lot of content. Why? Stupid fucking fanboyism. What's up, gamers? Welcome to Gamer Rant. So this is going to be a video response to Todd Howard, who recently came out in an interview. And, well, he was going to talk about Fallout 76, what went wrong and everything. So the video clip that I showed early, which is... Really, I could literally create an entire 20-minute video where I pick apart the video. But um, I thought after ironically recording something, I felt that this probably was the more important part. So Todd Howard refers to you, to us, <clears throat> as fans. Uh, he also, as you heard him, dictates and states, hey, he understands that criticism basically regardless of how it's delivered, should be taken to heart. All right, if we were to sum up what you saw earlier in this video. The problem with that I have with that is that in order for you to take criticism, all right, you have to do one thing. Because it's easy to say in front of a camera, we're doing this for the fans. Uh, it's easy to say, hey, we read the reviews and the comments from the fans, even the ones that might be a little vulgar. Vulgar. It's real easy to get in front of a camera and say that. But you want to know what's not easy for a business? It's not easy to see you, the fans, the gamers, as nothing but this. And, and let's analyze this for a second, Todd Howard. In your video, uh, a full link to the, the full video in the description box below will be down below. You also uh, lay claim um, that this is a project uh, that you were new at. Um, so you expected it to have a rocky launch. Uh, you also said that um, other games similar to it, so basically online games, also have their rocky start. So it's something that gamers expect. I find it hypocritical that Todd Howard, Bethesda, wants to sit there and claim that they see their fans as fans rather than a piece of plastic that can fill their bank account. But yet, he states that they read their reviews and they read the comments, but they never learn. And, you know, ironically, that's not even my opinion, Todd Howard. That's a fact. And it's, it's not just a problem with Bethesda. It's a problem with every developer and every publisher. They never learn from the mistakes that they make. And it's kind of ironic that the biggest excuse for a brand new online game when it launches is that, well, it's to be expected when shit goes wrong. And at its core, that's just an excuse, especially in 2019, where that shouldn't be a thing. You know, on a personal level and on a business level, uh, when you make a mistake, you're supposed to learn from it. Um, the same concept applies if somebody you know 
brother, sister, friend, whatever the case may be, makes a mistake is you learn from their mistake. That way you yourself don't repeat it. Uh, this very concept applies to business as well. Um, because your competitors have released online games. And the one thing that no competitor has ever done is to try to have a solid, good launch for an online-based game. They still stick to that stigma, that excuse that, oh, hey, it's okay if we release a broken game because people will expect it because it's an online game. And you know, the irony from that is that most people fail to realize that that very stigma, that very negative aspect of excuse for an online game launch has now found its way into single player based games because now every single player based game requires a day one update or a patch, future patches, so on and such forth. I have often told people that, you know, if, if, if we as gamers are willing to accept these aspects, they will begin to fall into place into other areas of the gaming community. When we look at the context of an online game and uh, gamers willfully accepting the excuse, well, you know what, this is an online game, so it's expected to have a rocky launch. So what are a lot of single player games doing? They're having rocky launches. Uh, we look at uh, Skyrim, another Bethesda game, which also had a rocky launch. It was littered with bugs and so on and such forth. So if you read the reviews and the comments as you lay claim to, Todd Howard, how come you did not learn from the mistake of this single player game? Why is it that no developer and no publisher learns from the mistakes that they actually make? And when they make a mistake, they either deflect make excuses, or give some stupid corporate PR bullshit. Because that's exactly what you did, Todd Howard. Because if you wanted to have any kind of gratitude or respect or courtesy toward the fans, the people that make you the money that, you know, goes in your bank account, which ironically, you shouldn't really respect them for that reason. You, you, as... And this is, isn't specific to you, but we'll just say as a whole, as a company, you should respect them for their, their love, their passion for what you have created. I'm a creator myself. I write, uh, I'm, I'm a writer. All right. <clears throat> so I don't look at this as I can make money from writing novels. And that's why I do this. I do it because I like to do it. And as a person who's read books, I like that thought and feeling and I want to give it to somebody else. That's the kind of passion and drive that I should have. And I would say that's the same kind of passion that a developer, uh, a publisher, a gaming company should have when they're creating their video games. They should have that same passion. Don't see us as just a cash machine. See us as people just as you. Don't just see your video games that you develop as a product. Treat them like the art that you claim they are because newsflash, art doesn't have accessories. You want to sit here and you want to make excuses for a rocky launch, a Fallout 76, and at the end of the day, that's exactly what you're doing. You're making excuses. There is no honesty and there is no integrity within your message. It's all fake. It's all PR bullshit. Because at the end of the day, if you honestly cared about your fans, if you honestly cared about the games, the art, quote unquote, art that you create, you wouldn't release more than half of the games in the state that you've released them in. And that's not just including Fallout 76, obviously. Because you either have the passion and drive to create art and to create it right the first time, or you're just creating a product. Turning all of your fans into nothing but this. So, Todd Howard, 
Why don't you try working on your apology? Why don't you try giving us a real apology? Why don't you start Bethesda treating your fans like people instead of something that puts money in your bank account? Why don't you start treating your video games like art instead of a product that fills your bank account?